just one look and you know it's more than a little different on this edition of Test Drive, the Land Rover LR2. When compared to its Luxo Ute peers, the LR2 is boxy and has a slab-sided appearance that's not exactly handsome. However, where it differs from all the segment competitors is its ability to blaze an off-road trail, and it does so with remarkable ease. Will it actually be used to full capability? I sincerely doubt it, but when the going gets tough, the LR2 really gets going. One of the key features on this LR2 is terrain response. Now, it allows the driver to pick a number of different modes, each of which tailors the driving characteristic so you make the best of any available traction. Combine that with a speed adjustable hill descent control system, and you have a vehicle that has awesome off-road ability. The LR2 was tested in temperatures ranging from minus 40 to plus 50 C and at altitudes up to 14,000 feet. Factor in the approach and departure angles, 211 millimeters of ground clearance and its ability to drive through 500 millimeters of water and not much gets in the way of an off-road excursion. Terrain response brings confidence regardless of the trail's severity. Yes, it has a very good all-wheel drive, but what's remarkable is this ability comes without the advantage of a low-range gear set. The cabin of this LR2 is pretty basic in nature. Yes, you get some nice materials, the instrumentation is attractive, there's a touch screen with navigation, and there's power options but there are also a couple of real foibles. First of all, this is a smart key, except it's not smart. Yes, you've got a push button start, but in order to get in and use it, you have to take the key fob out of your pocket and push the button. How daft is that? Second, when was the last time you drove a car that had a standalone horn button? For me, it's been donkey's years. On this LR2, you can push the wheel as hard as you like, nothing happens. You've got to use the two chrome bars on either side of the airbag. And finally, whatever happened to some of the safety technology? Lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring are conspicuous by their absence. To paraphrase a colleague and friend, donnez-moi un break. The LR2 is powered by a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder that delivers 240 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque at 1,750 RPM. For the most part, it retains the composure expected of a Land Rover engine. Where it comes unraveled somewhat is at the top end of the rev range, where it gets rather buzzy and busy. That aside, it has the wherewithal to motivate the LR2 from rest to 100k in 9 seconds. Not exactly soul-stirring, but enough for most eventualities. While this LR2 has got 27 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up, to get it into the maximum position and 59 cubic feet, well, you have to jump through hoops. First of all, you've got to pick the seat base up and fold it forward. Then you've got to remove the headrest, and then you fold the seat back down. Once you've done that to the left side and the right side, there's still one more hurdle. Where do you put the privacy cover when you want to use the maximum volume? It's all a lot of hassle. The six-speed automatic features normal, manual and sport modes. The manual mode comes into its own when climbing a long, gnarly hill. The sport mode is the right choice when a twisty road beckons. On that note, the LR2 proved to be remarkably versatile. Off-road, the suspension soaked up a bumpy trail as though it was paved blacktop. On the flip side, when pushed through the pylons, it did not feel as though it was about to go shiny side down. True, there's a few degrees of body roll, but the handling proved to be adroit given the high center of gravity and all-terrain tires. In the end, it felt as comfortable in either of the extremes. Ah, yes, this dear old LR2 is sure beginning to show its age. It's lacking some of the luxury features you expect, and its safety equipment needs to be updated. However, if you're looking for an off-road vehicle, the LR2 is without peer in the segment. You can take a wheel to where a wheel has never been before, and you'll get back safely. Yeah.